three-legged her attorneys could face up to hundreds of thousands of dollars in sanctions. And Governor-elect Katie Hobbs joining Maricopa County filing motions to sanction the Republican and former gubernatorial candidate. Yeah, this is just days after a judge ruled against Lake's election lawsuit in which she made claims of widespread misconduct. Fox 10's Justin Lum joins us live tonight with the latest. Justin. And Mark, Christina, the deadline to appeal the judge's ruling just passed right now at 5 this evening. Meanwhile, Katie Hobbs and several other lawyers have officially motioned to sanction Carrie Lake and her lawyers, telling the court how much the defense's work on the failed lawsuit will cost. Tonight, Carrie Lake and lawyers hit with a motion for sanctions filed by Maricopa County and Governor-elect Katie Hobbs. On Saturday, a judge said he found no intentional misconduct in the 2022 general election after a two-day trial. The county's motion for sanctions says enough really is enough. If you want to play, you know, unfrozen caveman lawyer on your YouTube channel, that's one thing. But if you want to go into a court of law and take up the court's time and invoke uh, the entire legal process, you've got to do an adequate professional investigation. Tom Collins is the executive director of the Arizona Citizens Clean Elections Commission. He's not surprised by the calls to sanction Lake. Hobbs is asking the court for nearly $40,000 in attorney fees she incurred and possibly more, according to Elias Law Group, which represents Hobbs, saying there could be at least $450,000 in costs. This short list involves several other lawyers, including those in the county attorney's office, led by Republican Rachel Mitchell. Election denial and being unwilling to accept the results of a fair election and, and objecting to the rule of law come together and create a really toxic uh, problem. In trial, Lake's lawyers focused on ballot printer issues and wanted the judge to declare her governor or order a revote in Maricopa County. Collins says this case poses concern for future elections. You are undermining not just the democratic process, but the very using leveraging the judicial process that protects all of us against uh, itself for your own aims. And we did reach out to Carrie Lake's team for comment. We have not heard back. Now, important to note, yesterday, Lake had a tweet up on her social media making a claim that the judge that dismissed this case, making a claim that his dismissal was ghostwritten by another lawyer involved. Important to note, that tweet has since been deleted. Reporting live, Justin Lum, Fox 10 News. Thank you, Justin.